And to other stories, non-profit organizations engaged in charity work in Nigeria have been encouraged to always comply with extant regulations to avoid running foul of the law. This came to fore at a training on non-profit regulatory compliance for members of the Community of Practice on civil, Civic Space Threatening. Rafi, uh, Rafi Hamid complete the story. It's the opening of a two-day workshop for some selected non-profit organizations in Ocean State. The training was organized by Global Rights with the support from the European Union delegation to Nigeria and ECOWAS. The motive is to equip the participants with regulatory requirements as corporate entities doing charity work in the country. NGOs, uh, not-for-profit organizations, are increasingly losing their credibility uh, due to uh, no compliance to, to extant regulations. And uh, we've discovered that it's not really because they, they don't want to comply, but there's been this knowledge gap, uh, understanding all the requirements and all the regulatory framework. I missed the multiple regulatory frameworks that we have for non-profit uh, organizational regulation in Nigeria. And so we have uh, thought to begin to engage uh, NGOs doing great work across Nigeria to begin to give them the knowledge, make them understand all the regulatory requirements that they're supposed to comply with. The issue of tax evasion and non-remittance to appropriate agencies of government by various organizations was also discussed. NGOs who feel that they are non-profits and so they don't have the obligation to pay tax. Yes, they don't have the obligation to pay companies' income tax, but they have to file their annual returns and pay tax when they engage in businesses. We also expect that NGOs from now on will begin to take the issue of being a tax agent seriously for the government because they are required to deduct monies for tax from the salaries of their employees. Aside this, for capital gains tax, we should expect them to report and file their returns whenever they sell their assets. And also withholding tax, we should expect them to deduct per time. Representative of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, in the participants on how to avoid financing or being financed by terrorist organizations knowingly or unknowingly. Participants describe the program as an eye opener. Organizers says about 400 non profit organizations would have been trained on civic space strengthening by 2025. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Ushubo.